Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. A web browser is a software application used to make navigating the internet easy for the user by providing a graphical user interface, or GUI, so that the user can click on menus, icons, or buttons rather than learning difficult computer commands. It is also called a web client because the browser application resides on the client or the computer of the individual using it rather than residing on the web server. There are many different types of browsers, Mozilla, Fi Firefox, Opera, and Mosaic. However, Netscape Navigator and Microsoft's Internet Explorer are the most popular web browsers. Internet Explorer is a web browser made by the Microsoft Corporation that allows the user to view web pages. Second only to Microsoft's Internet Explorer is Netscape Navigator, often just called Netscape. This web browser is from the Netscape Communications Corporation. Both of these browsers work very similarly. Internet Explorer is installed on most computers with Windows operating systems, and Netscape can be downloaded or purchased for use. You can easily identify the browsers and their icons. Internet Explorer's icon is a large blue E, and Netscape's is a large N. We will look at Internet Explorer as it is already installed on most computers. Once you've learned how to navigate this browser, using Netscape or any other browser will be easy as they are all very similar. To open Internet Explorer, either double click on the Internet Explorer icon on your desktop or click on Start from the taskbar and scroll up to your Internet Explorer icon. When the browser window opens, you will find a window to be very similar to most of the other windows we have opened. There is a title bar at the very top that will tell you what page you are looking at, as well as the browser's name. At the far right are the three buttons, Minimize, Maximize and Restore, and Close. The next bar is the menu bar. Here you will find the functions and commands that will help you navigate and utilize web pages that you are viewing in the, in the web browser. Below the menu bar is the icon bar. These icons will help you move easily to specific web pages and organize the pages you want to return to later, as well as perform other commonly used functions. The last bar at the top is the address bar. This bar displays the address of the web page that is on the screen that you are viewing. You can type in the address bar any page that you want to go to and either click on Go or hit the Enter key on your keyboard to go to the address you have entered. In the center of the window is where you will be able to view the web page. You will often find scroll bars at the right and at the bottom depending on the size of your web page that you are looking at. At the very bottom is the status bar. By looking at the status bar it can be helpful to find out if a page has finished loading. When a page is completely loaded on the screen the status bar will say done. One option you can set in all web browsers is your home page. A home page is the page that opens on the web browser when you first open the program. Depending on your Internet Service Provider, or ISP, this page may already be set to their web page. To change the home page to a page of your choosing, you must first get the URL address of the page that you want. Once you have this set, select Tools from the menu bar and come to the Internet Options. Here in the Internet Options dialog box, the first tab is General. The first section is Home Page. Here we can type in the URL of the ad address of the web page that we want to set for our home page, or we can click on Use Current to set the current web page that we are browsing. Use Default will set it to Microsoft Internet Explorer's page. When you have the address that you would like, click on OK to be returned to your web browser. Moving from page to page on the Internet is referred to as surfing. There are many different ways to surf around the net. 
As discussed, you can type in the address of a web page to bring it up. Clicking in the address bar, type in the URL you wish to go to. If you've already been to a page, you'll notice that it'll show up in below, and you can also click on that as well to go directly to the page. Let's open our web browser so we can see a little bit more. Once you've gone to a web page, you'll see the Back button. This allows you to go back to your previously viewed page. Another way to move around or surf the net is to look for a link. Text links are often in blue and underlined, and you can move your mouse pointer over them. It will turn into a hand with the index finger extended. When you click on that, it will take you to that page. Other items besides text can be a link as well. Any object that you move your mouse over and your pointer turns into the hand with the finger extended indicates that that is a link. You can click on that to be taken to that URL. As you surf through the Internet, there may be pages that you'll want to return to later. Web browsers give us a utility called Favorites to copy and save these pages so that they can be accessed again. There are two ways to see and use Favorites. From the menu bar, you can click on Favorites, or you can click on Favorites from your icon bar. When you click on Favorites from the icon bar, a screen will open on the left side of the page that you are viewing. Here you will see a list of all the favorite sites that have been set. You can also click on the Add button to add a new favorite. Click on OK and a new favorite will be listed here. You can also click on Organize to organize favorite favorites as well. The Organize Favorites dialog box will be created. Here you can create new folders, move your favorites sites to those specific folders, rename any items, or delete any. When you're finished organizing your favorites, click on Close. When you click on the X in the Favorites panel on the left-hand side, returns your web browser to its normal size again. The most common icons that are helpful in navigating or surfing the web are Back, Forward, Stop, Refresh, Home, Search, Favorites, History, Mail, and Print. We've looked at Back and Favorites. Let's take a look at what some of these other icons will do for us. The Forward button will allow us to move forward through the Internet. If we have gone back, we can then go forward by clicking the Forward button. The Stop button will stop a page from loading. This can be helpful if you've gone to the wrong page. Refresh reloads the page that you are looking at. Home takes us to our home page that we set earlier. Search is a utility to let you search the web. We'll talk a little bit more about that in our next section. History will open a screen similar to Favorites. It opens on the left hand side. In here you will find all the pages you've looked at in the past by date, by day, and you can click on the different ones to go back to those pages. Again, clicking on the X will shut that panel off. Mail will open your default email program, and Printer will send the page that you are viewing to the, your default printer. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.